Alliance Black Ops. Black Ops always go bad. If you Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the reapers? Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, and capacity to evolve. Well put, Commander. Of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourselves. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Zalkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. 
I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some stat. It appears Alcor has crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact it. Make sure to proceed with caution. Zen? Admiral Zen. Well, this should make things interesting. We'll see in a minute. Take us in to the tower. Taking fire. The Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here, in the land of my ancestors? <laughs> Jamming towers. Clever. But if we just towed in some asteroids... You want to drop meteors on Rannoch? You'd make it unlivable. The dust would settle, and you've already got the suits. They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find them. Let's get to that jamming tower. You all right? I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. Below us. 